Everyone, uh, Raid at Ashen One Boy. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully, all the gig workers are uh, earning lots of money, or at least enough to be in out and about. Um, or at least to uh, make it worthwhile. I haven't been around so much with uh, doing door dashing, etc., but I have been doing quite a few proxy picks as well as searching for a new vehicle. Well, another vehicle, not new. <laughs> not new by any chance. But anyway, I just finished a live show and uh, had an absolute blast at that, even though it took two times to get there. As I kicked myself off the first one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah uh, doing lots of proxy picks. If you haven't tried proxy picks, do go on with it. Don't dismiss it. Don't just say, well, I don't think there's enough in the area for it to do box. Go and see if you can sign up for it. Because it'll be another one in your arsenal. I said your arsenal, not the backside. Anyway, um, you'll... Uh, you may be glad of getting it. May well be glad of getting it. Um, I've done several. I've done several yesterday. I've got one to do today, and some more will probably come in. May well come in too. If they don't, that's good because I need time to go look for another vehicle, and I've got a couple to see at least. But no, um, do try it. Definitely try it. Um, it's well worth doing for sure. I highly recommend it, and I know that others that have tried it uh, are enjoying doing it too. Just don't be afraid, just get out there and do it. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. I seem to think that there's something blowing around, making uh, shadows in the back of me. Or there's something flying around in here. I don't know, maybe it's me just going crazy. Probably the latter. <laughs> but no, I uh, did the proxy picks yesterday. I did um, two collision centres that were new to me to do. They were absolute pains in the arses though. Um, one was an incredibly fipping small, small place um, as regards getting around the damn thing. Um, but we managed to get it all done and didn't see anyone when I went to it. No one questioned us being there, so. Anyway, um, did that one. And then the other one was about five and a half miles away from that. And yeah, it happened. We did see someone at that one, but I don't think we would have seen anyone if they hadn't been wanted to be out there changing the cars around, etc. out the back there, but. But we got that one done, and then I took another one um, during the day that was for uh, Coles, for nighttime pictures at Coles, and also took another one which was a uh, home to do, so a residential one, and tried to get back to, we stopped and got something to eat. By the way, while I think about that, we start to get something to eat at a, at a uh, restaurant that's been been in the Kansas City area for since 1957, I think it is, called Inner Tub. My wife's been going out for donkey's years. Not that long, but she's been going out for a long time. And then we started going there, and, you know, we wouldn't go there all the time, but, but we'd go there and... You know, it cost fifteen, twenty dollars or whatever. Right before COVID, it was like about twenty dollars, and we got more than enough bloody food then. I can't show you what pictures we had because I think they're uh, on that phone, the one I'm videoing on. But I'll put them up here. And it's something like fast food. I mean, it isn't flipping gourmet, and it's never ever going to be that way. That rhymes. And there's a Fippin' McShite next door to it. Um, but, but what did we have? We had, my wife had tacos. There was, uh, uh, what else was there? 
I still got a receipt because I've got to take pictures of the receipts to get all my cashback money on. But anyway, bloody hell, I've got a lot of receipts. Anyhow, we are tacos. Oh, yes. Uh, tacos, corn nuggets. I've no idea what that is. Tostada or something. Something I didn't get. And tater tots. And we had a couple of walkers. We come to $35. It weren't a great deal. 35 fifteen dollars And... I can go to, or we can go to rather, eat at a family restaurant in Lee Summit where the food is fresh and is bought locally. Doesn't come in on the back of a flipping frozen in the back of a semi truck or whatever. It comes, it's bought locally. We get a vegetable dinner, all flipping freshly made, and you know. And it's less money than that. Why didn't I go there? I know you're going to say, well, we weren't anywhere close to there. But, and we go to that flipping uh, inner tub is where it was. Like, so I'll put some pictures up here. And I did do a short video about it, only because they had a uh, um, Christmas tree up there already. <laughs> Christmas is coming early. Anyway, um, but yes, yeah, it's, and if I, there's another couple of places that we can go to and equally as good fresh food for less money than that. And we don't come away hungry. I came away from there, I was pretty, I was still hungry. <laughs> But we've been, we know from the last time that we went in there that it was pretty, it was getting up there. This place has been there since 1957. Each time we've gone in there, there hasn't been a whole lot of people in there. They're going to be pricing themselves out of flipping business. Pricing themselves out of business, it's just... Uh, how much the food is and such to them. I mean, it can't be that fippy much. It ain't exactly gourmet food, is it? Bloody tater tots, corn dogs, crying out loud. And I mean, I'm sure that fipping the amount that they buy, they get them fipping a whole lot cheaper than what we do at the fipping price shop or IV or wherever. It's, um, it's craziness, craziness. It's uh, crazy how, uh, and they're pretty quick at doing it. But I guarantee if I went to the VP and mix shit that next door to it, or what else we go? Taco Bell, or well, we, well, every now and again I go to Taco Bell. But anyway, but when we've been door dashing, etc., certainly if I went to Jackass in the box, any of the Jackasses in the area, if you've been going to any of those, you're going to be, uh, you're definitely going to be waiting. And that's if they've got the damn stuff in stock. Um, lights about to go, but anyway, it's um, it's amazing. Do yourself a favour. Don't flip and go and eat at flip in the fast foods if you can. Go to more flip in family orientated place. Smaller businesses, food truck even. Well, I don't know the prices on a food truck, but anyway, look at what's around. Don't just opt for fast food. There's one, it ain't going to be that great for you. Two, it's going to flip, it's only frozen and come back on the back of a flipping, back of a flipping truck that's just driven all around the flipping area and beyond. And it's just going to be too flipping expensive. Too expensive. It's, uh, I like just flipping, went off. Really must put a better charge in these things. 
but it's uh, do yourself a favour. I don't say that I can do it all the time, and I certainly won't. Don't want to be spending thirty five quid every time I flip and get get a meal, because that gets bloody expensive. But um. There's always cheaper options. There's always cheaper options. Just find your way, or make a few sandwiches at home and take them with you. And if you want to be fancy to get a sandwich, get some of them brioche sandwiches that they get at um, ones that they do at. Uh, well, I know they do them at Sprouts, but I'm sure you can get them elsewhere too. <coughs> Or just, if you insist on eating at the fast food places, just go for some of their deals and that. Like I said, you've got the jackass in the box. They're always cheap, but you never know if they're going to have it in. Certainly wouldn't, wouldn't uh, suggest going to the one in uh, Lee Summit. <sighs> Fucking... That place is ridiculous. Um... To get more of our more money back. In fact, we've been the last time I went there, the last few times that we've been there, um, we go there to make money. I just think I spent six dollars on on food and I ended up getting nearly ten dollars back when they refunded it. I don't think you're going to be in, much, in business for that much for very long if you keep paying doing that for people <laughs> just get someone who actually knows what they're doing and knows how to turn a fifty and frying pan on or whatever God, out loud. God, these people are just bloody lazy asses and speaking of that we've got a, a few restaurants in our area that are closed now Applebee's all the Applebee's in our area gone a lot of the Applebee's, I think the one in Blue Springs is still open. They've gone. The one in Lee Summit, even though all the lights are still on, we drove past it tonight. But anyway. Service wasn't that brilliant. And uh, we had eaten in there recently, actually. During the last few months. Anyway. So get yourself some proper food, make yourself some food, find yourself if you've been uh, locally owned business and go eat there. Stop with the Fipping franchises. Stop with them. Anyway, um, and definitely get your Fipping backsides on to signing up for Proxy Picks. Highly recommend it. Don't fip and believe it. Don't try and talk yourself out of it, saying that it doesn't work in your area. Bollocks. Go sign up for it. At least if something comes in, you'll be glad of it. Glad to have it because it's twenty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever it is, more in your pocket than you started during the day. If something comes in, I earned nearly a hundred dollars today. And I work three hours at it. And all I did, I didn't even get out of the bloody vehicle that once doing all of those. And I won't, definitely won't get out doing it tomorrow at the Vipin one, the, uh, the residential one. Never do. <laughs> Never do. Really, very, very, very rarely do. But mostly never. But that's just me. Anyway, um, thanks for uh, being here, everybody. If you haven't already done so, hit that uh, like button. And hit the uh, subscribe button as well if you haven't done that. And also uh, hit the bell icon as well because that'll uh, let you know as soon as the uh, videos hit the YouTube waves. Uh, whatever they call it. Anyhow, all of that is free. And also, you know, to help out, I know that if you've been, sometimes you don't get to, you've been, uh, aren't able to see all the videos, but, but if you've got yourself a cat or a dog at home, 
and you have to go to work and leave them behind, which most of us have to do, and you don't want them to get bored. Put some of my videos on. They can listen to me every day. And whilst they're doing that, they've been keeping my watch hours up. Because <laughs> I really need help in getting to 3,000 watch hours. And at this present time, I need 299 watch hours to get to that. I will need to get to 4,000 as well soon. Well, if I want to go to the next level of uh, full monetization on YouTube. But for now, I'm happy just to get to 3,000. That will be one goal accomplished with your help. Anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. And um, we've got some more fun stuff coming soon. And come on to one of the live shows, too. We do have a laugh. And not really like many other channels where it's all too political based when they go on their bloody flipping live shows. <sighs> they want to flipping scream and moan about Dornish or flipping have a go at, you know, I don't know who. Uber Eats. Oh, Uber Eats is only charging $2. Well, don't fucking take those flipping offers. That's my bloody advice to you. Stop pissing moaning about it. Pass those boy, have a live show, have a laugh. We all get, f I get fed up with flipping going to those shows where all they are is moaning about this, that, and the other. Fuck it. Now, come here, have a laugh. Not here. Come to one of the live shows. You just never know what's going to happen. Well, if I don't know what's going to happen, damn sure as hell, I'm not going to be able to tell you what's going to happen. All sorts of fun things happen. Anyhow, thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for your support. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ta-da!